pay back to her. I'll tell her what really happened. I feel bad. I feel a little responsible. <laughs> you know, I'd feel a lot better if I knew everything was going to be OK with you two. Well, thank you. But I think that is a very, very bad idea. Why? I'll just tell her what a gentleman you've been. Yeah, but even if you told her what happened and she believed you, which she won't, by the way, she's still going to wonder why we're having breakfast first thing in the morning. It, it's not worth it. I can handle it. You couldn't tell her you made a new friend? No, I don't think she'd like the idea of me having a friend that looks like you. <laughs> well, then you better definitely not tell her what a good time we're having. A good time? Now, there's no time for fun. It's only, hurry up, Johnny. It's time to get a job. It's time to make some real money. Come on, Johnny, it's time for a real career. Stop being a kid, grow up, you're almost 25. Wow. Sounds like you really need to get that up your chest. Dude, you should just call her right now. Say what? I don't know, man, just tell her how you feel. Feel about what? Is that her? I bet you it's her. That would be so weird. No. No, it's my uncle. I'll be right back. Hey, Uncle Terry, what's going on? I'm at the house, just grabbing my shit. Where are you? I'm at the beach, actually, with Brooke. Oh, really? Really? So I guess our little talk last night did you some good after all, huh? Was it as mind-blowing as you imagined? No, it's not like that, Uncle Terry, OK? She had a little bit too much to drink last night, so I took her back to your place. Look, I will pick you up in the parking lot in about 10 minutes. All right, cool. I'll see you in a bit. Everything OK? Yeah, everything's fine. My uh, Uncle Terry is going to pick me up in a little bit. Oh, really? So this is it? This is the end of our summer fling? I guess so. You want to go swimming? <laughs> That's kind of rough, don't you think? Not really the strongest swimmer. Come on, you got to dive in at least once before you go. It's going to be cold. No. It'll be good for my hangover. Well, it'll be good for your hangover. All right. Depends on what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe, um, let's go back. Yeah. OK. Yeah, OK. <laughs> yeah. So uh, do you know what you're going to do after the summer? <laughs> I hadn't really thought that far ahead. You got any ideas? Uh, you can go pro. <laughs> oh, I think that dream is dead. But you know what I always wanted to do? What's up? Cross-country road trip. Maybe find my way out to Oakland. You should give me your phone and uh, let me put my number in it. That way, just in case you don't take this new job and you go back to your radio gig and you still want to interview me, you'll know how to get in touch. Yeah. I don't think so, Brooke. Yeah, I had fun this weekend. I did, really. I just don't think that's such a good idea. You know, I feel like it's a little... Inappropriate? Yes, inappropriate. Yeah. You know, I just don't think Claire would understand, you know, especially what happened this weekend. You're going to take that job, aren't you? Pretty much have to. Give so many people my word. I don't know. Young lovers, how are you? <laughs> hey, Terry, how's Amy doing? What can I say? She's sleeping like a baby. So I guess this is it, huh? Hey, um, thanks again for being so sweet to me last night. Yeah. I had a really great time getting to know you. Me too. OK. <laughs> Hey! 
pie. You forgot your mother-in-law's pie. Thanks. Now, don't try and tell me that there's nothing going on between you two because love is obviously in the air. So let's just hold up here a second and let me ask you a question. Are you sure you don't want to just stay and take the train home tonight? I won't be offended, man. No, I'm fine. Nothing happened. It's not what you think. Oh, of course, of course. You're the type that won't kiss and tell. I understand. I forgot who I'm dealing with. Can we go? I want to go, please. Are you absolutely sure? Because even I can tell that she's in love with you, man. And she's gonna be the one that got away, the great missed opportunity that's gonna haunt you for the rest of your life. You know, you could be standing on the altar about to say I do, and the last image that flashes before your eyes is gonna be that fucking beauty on that blue convertible. All right, now, if you don't think that is the case, let me know, and I will pull out of this parking lot right now. But if you have any doubts at all, Open that fucking door right now and run back to her. Can we go home, please? All right, kid.